Hello, today I'm just going to do a really quick little product review on the electric control tower. I had a flashing strobe light down here for when the emergency stop buttons were hit. And I wanted to put something in place to conceal that. I went with this um, electric control tower. It's, it's quite big, you can see it on the track. It looks a lot bigger than it does online. Three stories tall. In the back there are, the second and third story have floor to ceiling glass. It would have been neat if they were doors with maybe a fire escape going up, but there's really no way to get to the roof. You just have to fudge it a little bit. I took and painted some of it because it was just a little bit too much gray, so I painted some of the blue areas. The stickers that came with it were all just advertisements for Scale Electric, so I printed out some other stickers and put on there. The one thing that was kind of peculiar about it is this area in the front was just a plain smooth piece of gray that went in and over. So I got that clip art of a bunch of people partying and I kind of turned that into a driver's lounge there and I think it worked pretty good. Just printed it out and glued it in place there and put the name of my track on there. So yeah, it's a pretty neat little piece. Let me zoom out so you can see it, how it looks in the track. It's not that big. And it helps to conceal the strobe light, but you can still see when the caution is on. Caution is out for driver five. I'll let you know that the uh, track is, or race is paused for a moment. And it's all push fit. It's not even glued together. Let me show you the inside of this thing. You can just pull on it and take it back apart until the point where you, you add glue. That one. So inside is the flashing strobe light on the top story. And I just cut a hole in there with this with a little hole saw. I should have moved it forward a little bit because it did interfere with the back. I had to trim it some. And then I can just take this voila, back in business. I haven't spent a whole lot of money on scenery for the track. This is the one thing that I have down here. I have the 7-Eleven. That's just the speaker that plays when the emergency stops are hit and I printed out a paper craft 7-Eleven store and just attach it to the outside of the speaker. So, all right, just a quick product review. There's my one for the road VIP lounge control tower and I think it's pretty nice. I think it's worth $40. Okay, thanks for watching. So I'm up in Harrisburg at Sam's Track. And he's got about an 83 foot track, much different than mine, because um, his is all spread out. I really like this track. It flows excellent. The entire back is elevated. And then you've got a major elevation there on that curve, and then a slight elevation over here. And then this curve is reversed uh, banked. 